In summer, when deciduous trees are in full leaf, trees are fairly easy to identify. But all that soon changes when you look up at the trees in winter. In winter, when deciduous trees have lost all their leaves, it's much more tricky to identify one tree from another. The secret to revealing a tree's true identity is by taking a closer look at its buds. And that's what I'm going to do today, here in beautiful Epping Forest. The colour, shape and arrangement of leaf buds are all telltale clues. So here's a whistle-stop tour to identifying some of Britain's winter trees. So, when you're investigating winter trees, the first thing to look out for in bud formation is whether they're parallel down the branch or whether they form a zigzag formation. So, I'm near a tree now, which if I hold up against my hand, hopefully you can see it's a zigzag formation. These buds are each about two centimetres long and they're very, very pointed. This is a beech tree. Another clue are the patches of bright copper-brown leaves that get left clinging to beech tree branches rather than falling to the ground in autumn. Ah, we've found some buds set in opposite pairs now. Look here. Opposite, opposite, opposite. We've got another very distinctive winter tree here. Look out for the bright green buds. They're always very, very tight until about April smooth grey twigs and if you look at the formation of the buds you won't see a zigzag pattern you see they're opposite each other this is a winter sycamore if you see lots of small shiny red zigzagging leaf buds with a scale at the base you're looking at a lime tree but some buds are enormous so you know the leaves are going to be huge too this is one of the easiest of the winter trees to identify the buds grow in opposite pairs along the twigs like this apart from the ones on the end that are big and sticky in March. This is a lovely horse chestnut. The buds get as sticky as glue. We've got another zigzagging bud formation here, but this time the buds are very different. If you take a look right on the tips of the twigs, we've got clusters which are going to become clusters of leaves. This is a grand old oak tree. So, there you go. Fat, skinny, green, red, sticky and clusters. There are all kinds of leaf bud clues out there for nature detectives.